violin. So, he gathered up 50 men to be his entourage and rode around in a chariot. <laughs> I am Absalom. Look at all these men who run in front of me. I'm 50 of them. Oh, I'm so important. So important. I mean, look at this. Who does that, really? Unbeknownst to his father, Absalom had devised a plan to take control of the city. Every day, he would come to the city's main gate, and as people headed in to see the king with the requests and problems, he would stop them. Whoa, oh, ho there, ho there. Are you coming to see the king? I don't think so. He doesn't have time for you with me. Absalom has time for you. All the time in the world. Here, have some candy. <laughs> After a while. some candy for you. Ready. After a while, Absalom got a huge following, and people started thinking that he was the one who should be king. So he sent out several secret messengers throughout all the tribes of David's kingdom, and he told them this. When you hear the trumpet blast, I want you to stand up and say, Absalom is king! Once the trumpets were sounded, Absalom decided to have all of his father's followers attack his father's city and take over. That's right. It's time for me to be king. I'd be a better king anyway. I need to get what I deserve. So, with swords in hand, <laughs> and mounted on chariots, Check. Absalom and his men rode oh. into Jerusalem and took it over without any resistance. <laughs> 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 Well, I bet, huh? Yeah. And, and see, that's, that's kind of what we were learning. 